I just blew my own mind with how good of a fermented hot sauce I was able to make in just a week. I'll start off by making a 3% salt brine, so that's 3% of our water weight in salt. I'll heat up my water, then add my salt and mix on heat until dissolved. Then I've got some jalapenos, romano peppers, a few figs, some seedless grapes, and then a last minute addition, some fresh mint leaves and some scotch bonnets. I'll use glass or ceramic to weigh everything down, then cover everything with our brine once it's cooled down to room temperature. I'm using an airlock on this because I expect a lot of gas to be produced in this fermentation. And even just by the end of the day, the hot sauce was already fermenting. Over time, this became a little cloudy, but this is expected and completely normal. The brine even started to taste pretty good and spicy halfway through the ferment. A week later, I'm going to strain this all out, but keep the liquid. I'll throw all the solids into a blender and then blend them up. To make it a little bit more watery, I'll add some of the brine back in. I'm also adding some fresh garlic because I forgot to add it to the ferment. And then some of the homemade apple cider vinegar from a previous video. And then this lemon green tea chung for sweetness. Some other families also got involved to see what it needed, to which we added a little salt and a little bit of plum vinegar. Everything was to taste until we thought it tasted really good. I then ran it through a coarse sieve to remove any bigger bits and then it's ready to serve. And oh boy, was it spicy, fruity, tangy, and a little salty. Super delicious and better than any of the hot sauces in my fridge right now.